or you can join loyal fans at the downtown watch party in Cesar Chavez Plaza. That starts at 4 o'clock. The first 4,000 fans will receive a Republic FC flag like I have right here, and you can RSVP online. So all this is very, very exciting, but our home team also has a very big matchup tomorrow. So joining us live is Sac Republic FC play-by-play -play announcer Rob McAllister. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, good morning. Excited. It's a yes. big week for the club and the city. I'm sh I'm sure it is. Okay, so let's let's talk about the last matchup that we had with the Oakland Roots and how the team's performance during that game could influence not only tomorrow's game with Louisville City FC, but also looking ahead to Orlando City as well. Yeah, the club's playing really well. I mean, this is a team that is together. They know how to attack. They know how to uh, beat stars and the biggest moments and i think we've seen that throughout this season we have some players that have just stepped up and we've seen guys who we knew were going to step up step up so it's been a really fun year these guys are really fun to watch they're exciting to watch and the oakland match i think was just a small snippet of what we've seen from this club and what we likely will see next wednesday in orlando and as we prepare for again the biggest match in sac republic fc history what do we need to know about our rival orlando city sc well, Orlando's an MLS club. I mean, they were in the USL Championship in 2014, and they were granted to MLS expansion the following season. They've had massive crowds throughout their history, and this is a club that's fighting for the playoffs in their own Eastern Conference. And so this is going to be a big game for them because there's a lot on the line here. Obviously, there's bragging rights, and there's there's ability to move on to the Champions League, which is a tournament of the best teams in the Americas. So this is not just a, hey, it's a good little trophy you get at the end. This is a big, big deal. And this is probably, you know, a big deal for them. It is, is for us. I and mean, it's probably for both clubs. It's the biggest match in each of their clubs history. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I have to ask, you know, which player or players do you think have really hit their stride this season and become just stars in their own right? Yeah, you know, it's really hard to say because we have so many talented players. I think Rodrigo Lopez, our first signing back in 2014, who won the Cup here in 2014 with this team, um, he's been brilliant at the age of 35 this year. But you have guys like Danny Vidiello, Jack Gurr. Uh, you've had Malik Foster, maybe the fastest guy in the league, really show up. I mean, we can go on and on about each guy, but what I think is whoever is out there from 1 to 23, these guys all step up when they're asked to do so. And everyone's come in and had big moments this year. And I think that's what's so great about this team. Not only are they talented, but they're a great group of guys that come together, they're close, and they trust each other. And to me, those are key recipe ingredients that will allow you to ultimately win the U.S. Open Cup and maybe even the USL Championship Cup title at the end of the season as well. We are all rooting for them. And thank goodness this is an away game this weekend because we don't want them playing out in these triple-digit yeah. temperatures. Okay, Rob McAllister, Sac Republic FC broadcaster, thank you so much. Go! Sac Republic FC. Yeah, thank you. Go Republic. All right. Let's go over to Adam FC in the Weather Center. Let's talk about our forecast.